it is the 25th of August 2013. You will listen to the one only Radio Redux on Radio Sega, and we're going into the wind.
begins. Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Radio Redux. I am AUK and it is a, a grey Sunday, let's be honest. It's not all that very nice out, especially considering it's August, but it's been rain and drizzled and and um, frankly a very big storm at one point. I'm bringing that because the Formula One has been in town up at Spa, up at the uh, Francochamp circuit. And, uh, yeah, they had their race, uh, let's say, nine, eight, nine hours ago. And, yeah, whenever the, whenever the Formula One circus comes to town, they tend to summon up the rain. And uh, this is my first time being in, in Belgium um, when that occurs. And they did it with style and panache and... Um, a, a large amount of success. Luckily, the rain didn't actually affect the race, but um, it, it certainly affected my window, let's put it that way, um, especially as I had it open at the time, uh, which if you were listening to a stream I did yesterday, I had to stop when I was right at the beginning because um, it was like somebody was putting a shower through the uh, window into my room. And yeah, it was it was rather unfortunate all things being equal, wasn't the best thing in the world. So, how are you then? We've had Gamescom. Everybody was at Gamescom, taking sneaky sausages and um, and bothering for bratwurst and anything that uh, that they so required, really. They were they were stuffing themselves on on schnitzel and and other things and enjoying enjoying a fantastic experience full of games. Um, I was busy working. Everyone else got to go out and get drunk. Uh, but yeah, I was I was busy working. I'm afraid so so no could do no can do for Kev. Kev doesn't get to go. Um, Kev couldn't afford it anyway because he chose that he would rather like to see his friends um, next week. So there won't be a radio redux or a live stream next week. Uh, this is mainly due to the, this is mainly due to the fact that I will actually be back in the UK at another Operation Portsmouth. SF991 says, "I for one approve of our sausage overlords." Yes, uh, you could say it was a bit of a sausage fest. LMC would be that. But but luckily we have we have double cross there to to even even out that um, for the disturb side. So hello to all of you who are listening in. Hello to all of you who are actually in the Radio Sega chat room. If you would like to join the Radio Sega chat room, uh, go to radiosega.net and there'll uh, be a link on there uh, with instructions as to how you can join and take part in the discussions that's going on between the following people as it stands. Glitch, who is AFK, um, and will be in deep trouble when the cybugs attack. Voice, Trekkie, the joiner, SF1991, who I have already mentioned. Uh, Silver, RW26 Blaze, who uh, asks me if I have been playing Need for Speed Underground uh, because of a track that was at the beginning actually at, of the show there, and the answer is not recently, and I really would like to. I need to find my disc. Um, we also have Keskitalo, which I hope I've said right, and Kazama Croft. Illus, who is live, I don't. Doesn't that mean? I'm not sure if that means that they are alive, um, just in a state of non-death. If they are broadcasting, they can't possibly be broadcasting because I'm broadcasting. Broadcastception, um, or maybe they're on Xbox Live. I, it, it could be one of several things. Um, I knew Governato is here. Uh, he's drunk. By his own admission, apparently he is, he is drunk. And then we also have underscore Spondy Sonic Remix. Hello to you, especially you. And we have Retrix World Twenty One is there, and also Trigon is there as well, with the tilde at the top of the list. And that's your chat room rundown for the time being. Retrix just coming in at the end. 
uh, Andrew Rip, uh remembers the song. Yes, indeed. If you want to know what the song was, actually, right at the beginning of the show, um, I can tell you it was actually Asian Dub Foundation with Fortress Europe, which is actually from Need for Speed Underground 2, if I remember rightly. And uh, you also had uh, the beginning of the show, Into the Wind, by Crush 40. Uh, this is mainly due to the fact that Jun Snui himself tweeted about Into the Wind a little while ago. Uh, Illus is now Illus is now li- Illus is now not live. Illus is Illus is normal now. I oh, sorry, I didn't interrupt myself for that important news flash. Uh, but uh, Jun Snui on his uh, Twitter account at Crush Forty was tweeting about it, so I thought, hey, let's put it in there, because Into the Wind is a really, really nice track. Uh, if you've not heard it, I think it's from one of the Daytona games, actually, that they did really, really early on. Um, like the first game that they, they did. If you re- want to hear it, it is on the Best of Crush 40 album. Um, if you do not own a copy of the Best of Crush 40 album, why the hell not? It's, you know, it's Crush 40, and the best of. Go... Go go out and buy a copy and, and give Jin Snue like 50p or whatever it is that he'd actually get from that. Um, yes. Go, go out and buy one. Support your Jin Snue. They are important. They are important in all manner of things. So yes, everybody went to GamesCon and had a lot of fun. Um, but I was busy working, so stuff happened, you know. Um... Uh, there also, oh, there was another track as well uh, while we got the chance, and that was from Portal 2 with the Aperture Science Psychoacoustics Laboratory and Comedy Equals Tragedy Plus Time. Coming up on the show today in terms of music, we've got a couple of other tracks to, to get through, but um, I've actually been going through the Sonic Rex depository, uh, specifically one of the old hard drives that I have, uh, an old portable one. Because uh, I had a load of uh, depository stuff on that, and it needed to be—I I needed to be clear this out. So I really wanted to free up some space and just go through and, and flush out some stuff that we've already—we've uh, already dealt with on Sonic Rex in the depository. And it's there. It's up. It's done. In the process of this, of course, I found out an absolute load of other things that we hadn't come across for a very long time, and. Yeah, and, and in amongst this was an album by uh, One Up Studios uh, of Club Game Music. And so I've not heard this. Apparently, I downloaded this in like 2008. So it's five years, five years of waiting to actually hear all this music that's coming up today. We have music from Sonic the Hedgehog, Tron. Final Fantasy, Legend of Zelda, Halo, Tetris, and Super Mario Brothers. Oh no! It's a Super Mario to end the show on Radio Sega! Isn't it right? Oh! Is it the club? Hey Luigi! You dance at the dance at the club! Are you with the glow stick! Hoo hoo! So we'll we'll have that. Uh, we've also got some Sonic Generations and a variation on "With Me" the power mix. I'm not sure where this came from either. Uh, but there'll be a, there'll be a load of other stuff coming up um, on Sonic Rex through the channels. Just as, as I find all this random stuff, and boy, did I find some random stuff last night, uh, including a promotional picture of Donnie Delory who sings My Destiny on Sonic 06. There was actually a promotional picture, and I can't find it anywhere else online. So it obviously wasn't a very well-done promotion if no one's got this promotional picture. But I've just put it up on, on the Twitter, so if you can you can have a chance. And we've got the Sonic Rush Adventure, uh, which Turbo started a Let's Play all the other day, incidentally. The Sonic Rush Adventure Flash Game. That'll be going up on SW soon I I yeah it's actually not, not a bad little game uh, it's just a short one using the boat the boat travelling uh, level mechanic 
uh, with the jet. Actually, with the, I say boat. It's the jet ski, but uh, or the the blue star or whatever the heck that they've decided to call it. The blue typhoon, blue aquanautic vibratory fan dabby dozy dub stepperama thing. I don't know. A jet ski. Whatever Sonic uses, so he doesn't drown. No, Donna Delory, not Donnie Delory. <laughs> That's the other cosplay that he's doing. Speaking of Donnie, actually, we might get Donnie on the show later. Because one of the big things in the community was the other day the launch of Volume 8 of Sonic Shorts from Sonic Paradox. And he is the Sonic Paradox representative. Might be an idea to get him in. For the time being now, his Brutal Knuckles with me power mix. And after that, we'll have uh, the uh, Metal Sonic US version of Stardust Speedway redone by one of those ones from Cash Cash. Cash Cash? I still don't like Cash Cash. But I'll, I'll, I'll suffer it for Sonic Generations. Uh, and then afterwards, we will have the first of our One Up Studios club game music tracks, which will actually be because we just we will have two Sonics in a row. Let's, let's save the other Sonic for later on, and instead let's have um, the third track be. Let's have the third track actually be Halo. There we go. Move some stuff around. Okay. So uh, this is uh, Brutal Knuckles with me, Palmix. Enjoy.
wasn't he just talking about Seaside Denied? Well, we can sort that out. Or at the very least, some kind of seaside thing.
Okay there, so we had Halo and then followed that up with some Final Fantasy. Uh, coming up next we have Legend of Zelda, Sonic and Tron. Not in the same thing, obviously, because could, could you imagine the Legend of Zelda x Sonic the Hedgehog in the world of Tron? Um, actually you probably can because you're in a, an imaginative bunch. But I'm, I'm wondering if we should perhaps... We should perhaps get Donny in, so he can tell us all about the fantastical new collection. I want. I wonder if he, if if he's is he up to that? Is he up to that? Please let me know. And uh, and we shall, we will summon you in for a summit call with with you know these guys. And you can tell us. You can say tell us all about Sonic Short Eight. And um, I think he's the only one who survived. So that's all good. I hope he has survived, because otherwise that would mean calling the dead, and that would be a bit, that'd be a bit awkward. Um, I'll tell you what, let's play The Legend of Zelda. One for the time being. Oh no, he's, he's, he's here, he's, re he's ready. Let's, 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 let's go grab him. Um, summoning Donny! Hello, Donny. We are, we are we are calling Donny, Donny calling. Aha! We have we have a Donny. Uh, I do need to check. Uh, it goes to line two, I think it is. Um, yeah, I, I think that's right. Well, I, I can hear you, Donny. Don't worry. Well, I'm not sure if the other guys can. <laughs> Check. We didn't have Skype set up for the talking and, and, and things. It, it, it could be worse. It, we could you could be having C Side Hill be oh, playing in the background again, and then they really wouldn't hear us. They'd just be hearing C Side Night in their heads. Oh, C Side, always C Side. C Side Night is everything. It is everything has C Side Night, and C Side Night is everything. It is. It, um, I, you it's could, line one. I had the wrong one. There we go. So now everybody can hear you, which is a good thing. Yay. Yeah. So. Yes. I hear. I hear there was a little collab that came out yesterday. Is there uh, now? Yeah, I hear it's uh, quite popular. Um, you guys might have heard of it. It's called a uh, Sonic Shorts Volume Eight. Um. Pretty, it's a pretty nice thing. I uh, I uh, checked it out at the local bar the other day. It was pretty nice. Um, actually, no. <laughs> God, this thing. The, I <laughs> I'm laughing so hard because like I cannot believe this thing's finally out. Still, oh, has this thing been in the works for so long? <laughs> so how long has that been actually? How, how long has it been in, in the process of being made? Because it was like 20... It was... Um, 20 minutes, yeah. 20 minutes in length, yeah. Well, let me put it this way. Um, it was about two and a half years um, in production. Um, it has literally, literally been in, in production... As long as I've been on the site, which has been three years now, so yeah. it's been a while. Because because some there was some of the there was some older ones in there as, as well. Yeah, there there was uh, the one with Knuckles at the end. Um, there was one with the, that Jax did. Um, we've been we've been putting off. Uh, the inclusion of those shorts for a while now. I don't know exact reason why, but I think there was some like uh, complications with getting it in. Kind of like the yeah, complications we had initially in getting uh, Ashman's Bubble Trouble short uh, initially because he used uh, Toon Boom instead of Flash, uh, like we usually use for our uh, shorts. So what happened was I, I remember it, it was it was definitely in the, one of the early SOS ones. Two thousand nine. Yeah. And bubble trouble I was one was one of the ones I'd say no. One of the ones I'd say no to, but the knuckles one was was definitely in there. So. 
Yeah. It was it was just in multiple parts though. That the part everyone saw was the last part. But there were two other parts that were actually seen at Summer Sonic. But that's generally the consensus when it comes to shorts is that things kind of have to be sacrificed if they mean getting in. Like when um, there was there's some bits of the Toast Genie short from Volume Two, I believe it was, uh, that got taken out. There was um, a portion of the Giant Talking Egg short from Volume Six that was taken out. Things get kind of sacrificed to get in the shorts, so. But good God, 200... I think I mentioned this on Twitter, but there were like 268 related shorts that have been made in just five years. Ugh. <laughs> that's a hell of a lot of... That's a lot of shorts. It is. By definition, it's long. <laughs> oh, it is that's literally long. long. That's long for a short. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you watched all eight, uh, all eight volumes, the uh, Sonic, uh, Sonic Junk volumes, family friendly name as they call it, but, um, and also the uh, Knuckles briefs, it'll come to about two, uh, two hours twenty minutes <laughs> of time if you watch them all back to back. Fifteen minutes of that is just Eggman dancing. Oh yes. It's, it's... I see that, that was in like three times. <laughs> in the, in the, it's like you, they hit, you, you get hit a bit early on. It's like, oh, it's done now. It's like, no, it's back again. Yeah, hi there. You missed him. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> then, I think twice. Then it's in the credits as well, I think. Oh, and they added Snively in. <laughs> Yes, yeah, as, as if you thought Eggman was what, bad enough. How could we make this worse? Let's add Stevie. <laughs> you, I can, you guys could probably imagine like our reaction when we first saw because that short was literally made, I think, a week or two before we submitted Volume Eight to the Summer Sonic staff, um, and we all just busted out laughing when we saw saw, saw the uh, little cameo of a. Uh, uh, Snively in there. <laughs> like, what the hell? What? The... Cacti, what did you do here? <laughs> but yeah, we we did have to have a good laugh. I mean... Mm. Before everybody was killed. Oh yeah. I somehow escaped. Yeah, you, you escaped. You, you, you're, the, you're the last survivor, because to explain to everybody, at the end, because this is, this is the end of the Sonic Shores, isn't it? This, this is it. Um, technically, yeah, it is. Um, although it seems like there's been some second thoughts now, and that they're, although it's not going to end per se, it's taking a good long hi hiatus instead. Mm -hmm. um, in other words, it's pretty much as if we didn't do Volume 8 yet. <laughs> um, but no, the Sega short is actually looking very interesting. Um, I guess you could say uh, it's Sonic shorts, but branched out more. Um, it's actually, in a way, it's what Radio Redux is. That's the best way I can ex uh, compare it to, is the uh, musical library of Radio Redux. Like, it has a little I was, bit of Sonic... I was going to say, you mean more in t completely unpopular? No, no, not, not in that... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, in terms of the variety and the diversity in the content, like, there's a little bit of Sonic in there, but it's got a bunch of other stuff in there, too. It's just that other stuff is Sega as a whole... But. Yeah, I, I, I know. It's uh, I, guys, I know it's very quiet. It's the way the mixing goes. I can't help or do anything about it, other than this. Yeah, so. it, it'd be wise not to ask Kevin when Volume Eight is out because it's kind of already out, and you know we've got yeah, the old Volume Eight is already out. Vol volume Eight of Radio Redux is all in on in progress. Yeah, um. <laughs> but yeah, Redux. nowhere near as popular. So. But yeah, there's there's a, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of nods to previous ones. Uh, I noticed in this one, and and, and sort of ongoings. I mean, the, I mean, Boozer wraps up the uh, his uh, Sonic and Amy story that's been going on for a while, and uh, yeah, they kind of died too. Everyone dies. Without big, there is no eating. <laughs> 
<laughs> everyone dies. So yeah, big dies. Amy, big dies again. I should say. Um, Amy and Sonic die. Uh, and Knuckles and Eggman. <laughs> In that <Yeah>. one. <laughs> You guys really need to see it. It's on every, it's on every website there is to do with Sonic. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> Sonic, Sonic dies twice. Knuckles becomes a frozen uh, icicle. Uh, all the no, animals. Well. Yeah. Dies as well. <laughs> is it, 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 it doesn't die? Um, the Orbanot, but then again, he loses all his uh, mm. spike balls. So I like that. Like that conti- I like that that continues, and he doesn't die. Yeah, <laughs> of, of I, all, I like he... he's just going on out there, just like into the space or something. <laughs> Why could I only travel in one direction? It's a very valid question. It is, and, and it, it. I think that's what we love about I, the Sonic shorts. This one, at least, is that there are a lot of those things where you relate to, like the bottomless pit one. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, dealing with the Orbanade, uh I I, that... I always like the ones where it's the it's the bad Nicks, and they're worried about everything that's going on, and it's like they're those Sonics coming. Sonic coming equals death, and they're actually trying to get. But they're either they're either. <laughs> They're either really up for the fight, or alternatively, they're trying to run away. And oh my god, we're going to die! Oh my god! Uh, uh, it's, it's like when they've done. I mean, other other uh, cartoonists have done this, where from the um, point of view of um, the Goombas, for example, from Mario, where it's like, yeah. Uh, but yeah, from their point of view, Mario is this just like homicidal monster that just comes, <laughs> and murders all their people. Uh, and, and it's the same. With, it's the same with the, the bad Nicks and Sonic. That again, if it's um, they're either, I'm really up for the fight. And actually, actually there's a there's a lovely blink and you'll miss it uh, moment in the. Um, the egg, the um, oh, what's it? The Death Egg one, oh, where yeah. Eggman comes in and crashes, and then there's yeah. um, there's the penguin there. Yeah, penguin eater. <laughs> penguin eaters there, and they say, "Oh, our, our backup power is almost out, uh, and our backup generator won't be able to hold on for long." And it switches over to a uh, to a, a glimpse of a motorbug on a treadmill. But if you blink and you miss it, you you won't see the fact that in front of the, what the motor bug is looking at is a picture of the dead son because it's the it's the motor bug father from the previous collection. Yeah, <laughs> it's the same character. So yeah, on this treadmill, <laughs> just 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 running to his own death because just in grief at the loss of his son. Um, yeah, we. Just, there's a we, lot of little things and, and, and nods back. Uh, so it was great. Yeah, there, there's actually a lot of nods continuity in uh, in the in the short state. Like that same short. If you at one point, it's another kind of blink and you'll miss it. But remember that one short. If where the give me the butter short. Um, uh, it's in volume six, if I do recall correctly. Um, when Robotnik's trying to kill Sonic in the Emerald Hill Zone. He's unable to, and Sonic puts spikes into him and embeds him into his skull and stuff. And he tries to go into the Chemical Hill uh, machine, or Chemical Chemical Hill. Listen to me, Chemical <laughs> Chemical Plant Zone uh, boss, and he gets stuck in it. And he's, he gets I, all I need is the butter. Get me the butter. Well, in that short, the Volume Eight short that continues it, if you look carefully, you'll notice that on the back of his pants. There's butter on there. <laughs> oh yes, I, I, I wondered what that was about. I wondered yeah. what that was all about, and then it was like, oh, so that that explains it. Yep, that actually explains it. Okay. Um, I know there's another uh, big continuity as well uh, in the credits as well. Quite a few bits of continuity, like Silver is still unable to go up that damn loop. 
Yeah, there's there's the there's the vast variety of nods back to all, all the previous ones from before. I there was um there was one that was I can't remember seeing before, but what I thought was a nod back to a different two, which was the just was a metal a metal knuckles and metal sonic just kicking. Oh. Tails doll. Speaking Tails doll. <laughs> yeah, that that's actually that actually was in a previous volume, but it wasn't a actual short. It was a very very cleverly hidden hidden Easter egg in ah. volume six. Ah, uh, because I I wondered if it was a, just a nod back to the because we're Sonic Heroes one, which is still my favorite. <laughs> With just, <laughs> just Ash getting him just off yeah. the ground and seems like just kicking him. <laughs> <laughs> Out of nowhere. And, yeah. Why are you just actually beating me up? Because we're just dicks. <laughs> we're the heroes and there is no consequences. <laughs> yeah. It, that short that it was the one that actually had the Easter egg. It's just you couldn't uh, actually. So I, I, I wonder that that was the same thing, yeah. Yeah. What what you have to do to get to that Easter egg? It's pretty much uh, known now, but you actually had to have the s uh, the dot swf to that file. Um, if because if you pan out, if you have the swf, you can actually see the entire thing, like the entire screen. You're only seeing the part where Edmund's being beaten up. That was only that part of the screen, but there's actually a different area in in the background um, in the dot swf, and in the background. Um, in that extra area, you see that scene with Tails doll being beaten up as well. Ah, uh, clever, clever people. Yep. Okay, let's get some uh, music back on. Uh, we will have Legend of Zelda followed by Sonic and Tron, and uh, that's your music coming up. We'll be back soon. <laughs>
Also, the Tetris one on the end there, which you may have gathered. But all of these are from the One Up Studios Club Game Music album, which I believe is free to download um, somewhere. Uh, I, we've been chatting merrily away uh, whilst you guys, <laughs> whilst you guys are enjoying the music about all sorts of things, and um, we were actually talking about some of the some of the issues that happened with Shorts Eight. And how some, I mean, some uh, tunes you're saying that, that they almost never came to be because of one problem or another. Yeah, there, there, there was really a lot of, there There was some development hell, definitely. Like, in the case that we just seemed to have some technical difficulties dealing with this volume. Like, for example, uh, there was the issue of uh, Ashman's Bubble Trouble short um, mm -hmm. being in Toon Boom. Um, we thought, okay, we can just convert it to a file that's friendly to Flash, and then we could, it'll fit in the volume, and we could just go all willy nilly, and it'll be fine. Turns out, when we tried to do that, it would screw up. So, yeah. what we ended up doing is we thought, well, we, this is going to be the last volume. We do want to put this out, uh, go out with a bang with this. Um,. We didn't have any solutions until Newgrounds brought out this cool uh, video program called Swivel, um, and that came out. I think it was earlier, like early this year, like around the new year or so, which made things very, very easy. So Volume Eight was actually decided. We decided, all right, we're not going to have an Easter egg of, of Tales all. We're not going to have a uh, menu animation at all. We're just going to have the Sonic Paradox logo and the volume. And that allowed us, A, to include even more shorts because it means we had more room for the uh, – more size space for any other shorts. B, it means we could actually include other uh, other programs that could be animated from, like Toon Boom. Um, and C, it means we can put them out in HD now. Um which is something, again, that we couldn't do before with the shorts, is that we did not have the capability of making them in HD. Now we do. Um, and that's why, really, and I know this was actually mentioned in the description, too, we are going to be releasing the previous seven shorts volumes in HD. So, in other words, it's like reporting everything over to the Xbox 360 <laughs> for re-release. <laughs> wait, you, wait um, well, you, you say, is it true HD, or are you just upscaling? <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll, it'll is it an true. HD remake? <laughs> it's it's an HD remake. Like you'll get all these like levels. Does it have achievements? This is the important yes. thing. Does it have? Yeah. It does have achievements. Okay, yeah, it, it, first. Yeah, you got. You'll right, have a leaderboard like too. This. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, they'll they'll be all in HD, and we're even going to be able to take things up the next level to Sega Shorts. As not only will the Sega Shorts be in HD, but they're also going to be in widescreen as well. So Hooray. it's going to be quite a uh, difference there, but but when going back to the development hell, like we had you know that issue, and then we had another issue, and one of the shorts not barely almost not even getting in, um, because uh, when Wax actually did his E series short, 
Um, at the time, I believe he was about halfway done to about 80% done, I think was his short, that short in particular. And then it's hard to decide to just go and die out. Um, ah, that, that kind of sucks. Yeah, and, and unfortunately, man, he lost the dot .flv. However, he still had the dot, the dot .swf because he had uploaded it to Newgrounds, and Newgrounds kept the file, the S, dot .swf, for reserve, which means he can re-download the file and then take it, use a converter, uh, a .swf to .flv converter, and he can get the file back. And that's exact. That's how we saved the short. Um, so it literally was the difference between a converter and that short getting in or not. It was a lot. Uh, shorts just got in um, very barely. One thing I should note is that there were actually some shorts I got in because of me. Um, because at one point they were just the uh, staff was just so busy um, doing things like. Their personal lives have just gotten so much in the way that they didn't even have the time to approve any new shorts. Um, the ones that were ju uh, in judging stage, under judgment for any approvals. And a lot of them had like uh, two approvals. Well, then that's where, where I came in. Um, about, I'd say last year, like mid last year or so, um, I officially became a mod, like an official mod for the site. Meaning, I can now approve shorts and you know have all the privileges. Yeah, he, at the... He's the man now. He's the man. Yeah, he, he has the power. I have the power. Yeah, he's like he's like He-Man, but without the sword, guys. And, and you know what's funny? There's actually a little He-Man Easter egg in one of the shorts. <laughs> Coincidentally, <laughs> um, is it you? Is it you going? Hi! Yeah! 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 I kind of wish that actually. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but uh, no, it's actually in the Bright Zone short. Um, where you seal <laughs> the Amy. What's Donny on? We seal. You know where you seal the Amy's in? Uh, just oh, flying I, by. I, I, I saw that there was. A, I think there was a shadow in there, wasn't there? I think I saw. Oh yes. Uh, there there were two Easter eggs in there. There was shadow, and a He-Man Amy. There was literally He Man with Amy's hair in a bright outfit. Go in a long Okay. <laughs> why? <laughs> I don't it know. Begs, it begs the question why, really. <clears throat> I I really don't know. <laughs> that was when I saw that was actually the case, I just face palmed, <laughs> just shook my head. Uh <laughs> It's a long story, uh, but yeah, that there was a He-Man Easter egg and kind of another hidden Easter egg as well in Metropolis Mayhem that was very similar to that. In fact, the lyrics to that was the Easter egg. Um, there is a billboard that shows up that a uh, cheese is reading in Metropolis Mayhem, and you you see this little small text there. That's the lyrics to that main chorus in that video. <laughs> A He Man video. <laughs> no, actually, I, don't think, I think I, I think I saw that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's not easy to see if you don't have full screen. So, but that that's what I love about the shorts is and the, our mm. work is that we always love sneaking in Easter eggs and little hidden bits. It's that sort of medium where you can. Yeah, isn't it? Which, which is great because it just rewards people for for. Um, Further replays and watches, which is which is great. So yeah. I I, t I said my favorite um, a little while ago. What, what what has been your favorite Sonic short? My favorite Sonic short, um, as of the several billion that we've that we've, that we've had. So <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> I think as of now, my new favorite short is probably the Death Egg uh, two Act Two boss. Uh, short that you see where Sonic can't catch up to Eggman because he's running so fast. <laughs> well, that's on the new one, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's, that, that, that's... He, he, just, he just ends his... How his bit. does a man <laughs> that fat move so effing fast? <laughs> uh, uh. It, it's just... Actually, the... Well, actually, that's, that is one of the things you've, that's been 
happening more and more as, as she is Sonic Shorts has gone on. It's actually become more about Eggman. Uh, I, I, th- I think because it, it, it just seems like more of been starring Eggman or specifically focused around Eggman. Yeah, it, 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 it's. I think it's mostly because when it comes to Eggman, we have a lot more to work with than it when it comes to Sonic. Like we've already expended Sonic on you know, any capabilities by this point, so it's become more and more of Eggman simply because of the fact that he's got a lot more potential, and we know how to creep everyone out with him, <laughs> and. A lot of dancing Eggman. Egg, although... Eggman's got Eggman's got very specific physical and personal personality flaws that can be um, that could be made fun of, obviously. But, yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, it. We really did have one issue is that we had so many long shorts in there. Um, there was actually quite, I actually noticed this. Uh, especially when I was looking, getting uh, converting shorts to MP3, as I usually do when it comes to shorts because I'm mm-hmm. that kind of guy. But um, a lot of the shorts were usually for, uh, like 30 seconds or longer. Um, and it, we, this was strange. And Wax, even at one point, I recall, quite often in the road leading up to Volume 8, he constantly told us, can we have some short shorts, please? <laughs> you know, some shorts. Wax actually- like short shorts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we can we actually have some shorts that are supposed to be short now? <laughs> like it, it 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 was something that he wasn't exactly the most fond of, but I mean, we the, also the, had this the situation. two or three second throwaways just didn't. I mean, it doesn't. You're right; they just didn't seem to be there anymore. But, yeah, you may. I think there was one which was just like three or four seconds, but I can't remember any any others that like that. Whose idea was the boat race in hot lava? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Again, another fantastic, <laughs> fantastic question. Oh, dear. So they, so the Sega shorts. Yeah. Obviously, is there any particular game that you're uh, you're hoping that uh, the guys shine a light on? Um, probably. I think that I could see some potential in Rice Star quite a bit, and maybe even Alex Kid. Like we we kind of gave it a little nice little homage to Alex. Well, if you could call it homage to Alex Kid and uh, Shorts Eight, where for some reason I, I I'm sure no one was expecting Alex Kid to be pissing on Sonic, but uh, who's number one now, huh? <laughs> um, that that little scene alone is why that short didn't get into the Summer Sonic airing. Just stop. yeah, I can imagine so. I, yeah. I see him. I see him as propping up for the bar, or being, or being the barman. Yeah. Um, in 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 the bar with with Mighty and and Bean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's he, he's either the, he's either the actual resident bar fly or he's the actual barman. He's like, tell me, tell me about it. Tell me a story. Yeah. I I see him all coming here. And they've yeah. all been done by the hedgehog. I hate that hedgehog. I hate that hedgehog so much. Stole my job. Stole my <laughs> voice actor. Didn't used to talk like this. Oh, it must be the smoke of this bar. Yep. I hate this bar. <laughs> I I hate my life. <laughs> I just yeah. just hate that hedgehog. Yeah. And that's why. He- I think uh, I think uh, they were. Th- I think uh, Sonic was wondering if uh, all of SP was hating him too. So <laughs> that's why he turned against us. Uh, actually, the the simple reason why I wasn't in there is because I didn't contribute to Short Eight at all. Um, only the animators to Short Eight actually got included in there. Um, not the s- actual Sonic Paradox staff in particular, but just people who animated in Short Eight and past shorts if they were actually around. Um, and then there was a like there was a, at a point where we just couldn't add any more people getting beaten up because if we added any more, no one will actually be able to see them. They'll get obscured by the others. So it got at that point where we decided, okay, we're just gonna stick with that. But every like if you notice, it looks like there are a bunch of different styles of people being animated, but that was literally on purpose. Like all the animators actually animated themselves being beaten up by a Sonic character. 
So it was a so was, was there any was, was there much of a um, was there much of a thing about like who actually was? Did they did people get was there like um, some decision making? Is like who got to choose at character X? Yep, they actually got the ability to do that. Of course, you can guess who Boost chose to be beaten up as. Yeah. Um. um <laughs> <laughs> he actually completed that really quickly. Like th- those types. Of- <laughs> he'd, or- he'd already animated it out of self-loathing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like it, it did not take him long to animate that once he decided. Okay, I want to do that. You know, the, the thing about I did, those- I did, I did like the bit. Where it was like, okay, whose fault was this? And then everyone points it. <laughs> and I think if I recall correctly, it was actually his idea. <laughs> um, he actually a- helped animate the that uh, that part. Um, he and Comic actually did it specifically. Um, yeah, I, I remember seeing that it was like a it was like a shared one. So yeah, it was like a collab within a collab within a collab. Hmm. <laughs> All the collabs. Yeah. All right. Speaking of collabs. Uh, this one will have to end, I'm afraid. Uh, we've uh, gone for a fantastic time, but thank you very much for coming on the show, Donny. Woo! No problem. And, uh, telling us all, telling us all about what was what been going on with Sonic Shorts Eight, which of course is up on YouTube, and because of uh, partnerships and things, it has parental advisory. Yay! And no copyrighted tracks either, I might add. All the good stuff. So if you guys were hoping for uh, another Elton John song, that could have happened. You, you, there are a number of songs. In fact, Tails sings at one point. Yeah, that was actually originally a Frank... The Frank Sinatra song was actually originally uh, in there. But for the shorts, we actually had that song resung as Tails and remixed by Rexy. So um, that kind of happened. And then with the Sonic's iPod one, originally there was this... Uh, there was this, like, this, uh, what was it this called? This, um, um, that one track, uh, R&B kind of, like, uh, song. Mm. Going. And then it cut to Working for the Weekend when Eggman shows up. Well, both of those got changed completely to that Japanese song, and then it goes into that, um, that rave party <laughs> song that everyone's having bedded in their head now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Yes. So go go watch it. Yeah, go, go watch, watch it. it. You've got you've got about a half hour before the LMC stream comes on, so it's a fantastic amount of time. Just go and watch it. Yep. Um For now, though, thanks again. Thank you for Donnie for coming in. We're going to leave you with one piece of music, which is the final track from this One Up Studios album that we've been playing for the majority of the show. Uh, this is from Super, this is the Super Mario Brothers. I don't know how this is going to work out because the first time I'm hearing it with you guys, but. <laughs> So, thanks to Donnie. I've been Arjun GK. This has been Radio Redux, and we will see you in two weeks' time because I'm going to be in Portsmouth next week. But uh, bye for now.